In the name of Allah, the most merciful and beneficent, my dear viewers, my dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Today, I have brought line by line explanation of the poem Lament for Syria, written by Amina, Amina Abu. She, uh, she belongs to Syria. And I must tell you that it is a lament poem, non-narrative poem expressing deep grief and sorrow over a personal loss. Lament ka matlab hai afsos karna, udas hona. Kis baat pe afsos karna? Syria ke liye. The very title of the poem shows, uh, throws light on the miserable uh, condition of Syria or the plight of Syria and Syrians. ये non narrative poem है और non narrative poem जो है वो deep grief और sorrow का expression है it is the expression of deep grief बहुत ज्यादा गम का इजहार है या बहुत अफसोस है over a personal loss किसी भी जाती नुकसान के ऊपर एक अफसोस का इजहार है ये नजम Little introduction about the poetess as well. Syrian doves croon above my head. Their call cries in my eyes. I'm trying to design a country that will go with my poetry and not get in the way when I'm thinking where soldiers don't walk over my face. With these words begin, begins the lament for Syria, a poem written by Amina Abu a 13 years old Syrian refugee living in the United Kingdom. At the end of September, her poem won the Benjamin Poetry Prize 2017 for children 10 to 13 years old. Her story told to the British Daily, The Guardian, is made up of violence and fleeing, but also hope, art and future. Poetess ka ek chota sa introduction hai. वो 13 इयर्स की है और सीरियन रिफ्यूजी है जिन्होंने यूनाइटेड किंगडम में जाके पना ली सितंबर के एंड में उसकी नजम को बेजमेन पोइट्री प्राइज मिला फॉर चिल्ड्रन एंड 13 10 टू 13 इयर्स ओल्ड हर स्टोरी टोल्ड टू द ब्रिटिश डेली द गार्डियन इज मेड अप ऑफ वायलेंस एंड फ्लीइंग बट आल्सो होप आर्ट एंड फ्यूचर नाउ Lament for Syria was written half in English and half in Arabic. Yani ye adi English me likhi gai, adi unki apni language Arabic me likhi gai. I take words from anywhere, Amina told the Guardian. I take them from songs and films, from what I see on the computer or the television and I put them all together. Wo kati ke mein words, wo vocabulary ki baat kari hai, ke mein vocabulary kahi se bhi leti hoon, gaano se mein leti hoon, film se uthati hoon, computer se help leti hoon, television pe jab dekhti hoon, to wo mein saare jo, I jostle down all those words into a poetry. And I put them all together, she said. She started writing poetry during the four years she spent in Egypt. But since the time she moved to England last summer, she has been working even more on her verses. Amina was eight years old when she left Syria. When she Syria to migrate karke gaye, hijrat karke gaye, Egypt, she was eight years old. Her family lived in Daraya, a suburb of Damascus. Damascus is a suburb of Damascus. It is a suburb of Damascus. It is a suburb of Damascus. It is a suburb of Damascus. Once fighting broke out, Amina's family, her parents and two brothers fled, traveling for one year within the country and then to Egypt. In Syria, we were scared all the time, she said. And she said in an interview that in Syria, we were scared all the time in Syria. Despite the difficulties in Egypt, she felt safe and began to write. Egypt may be a very difficult time. The only thing is that when you go to your country, to your country, to your वो चले गए तो डेफिनेटली बहुत सी मुश्किलात का उसको सामना करना पड़ा लेकिन फिर भी एक चीज जो थी वो उन पे उनके साथ थी और वो था कि वो शी फेल्ड सेफ सेंस ऑफ सिक्योरिटी कम से कम उनको थी तो उसने लिखना शुरू कर दिया 
when i remember my siria i feel so sad and i cry and start writing about her she said wo kehti hai ki aaj bhi jab main apne siria ko yaad karti hu apne mulk ko yaad karti hu main bahut udaas ho jati hu main rona shuru kar deti hu aur phir main siria ke bare mein likhna shuru kar deti hu this is all about the poetess now i am going to do explanation line by line syrian doves croon above my head now the very first line has used the bird's name that is dove aapko main batati chalu ke dove jo hai it is the symbol of peace love and freedom dove jo hai wo kis baat ki alamat hai ye jo parinda hai ye amn ki alamat hai mohabbat ki alamat hai aur azadi ki alamat hai इसीलिए पोइटिस ने सबसे पहली लाइन में उसने डव का वर्ड यूज किया एंड द डव विच रिजाइड इन सीरिया दैट्स वाई शी पर्टिकुलराइज दिस डव बाय सेइंग दैट सीरियन डव्स क्रून अबव माय हेड द डव्स ऑफ सीरिया दे आर सर्कलिंग अबव माय हेड दे आर हॉवरिंग अबव माय हेड एंड क्रूनिंग क्रूनिंग हमिंग सिंगिंग और साथ साथ ये गा रही हैं सीरियन डव्स आर हमिंग दे आर सिंगिंग अबव माई हेड इट मीन्स दैट दे आर टेलिंग दे आर सिंगिंग द राइम्स द सॉन्ग टू मी दे आर कॉल क्राइज इन माई आईज वट एवर दे आर सिंगिंग अबाउट वट एवर दे आर मोन अबाउट is clearly reflected through my own eyes too jo bhi ye birds ga rahi hain wo meri aankhon se bhi wohi feelings zahir ho rahi hain those very feelings or those very words of freedom peace and love are reflected through my own eyes as well yahi feelings yahi dreams meri aankhon se bhi इन मेरी आंखों में भी उसी खाब का अक्स है सेम इज माई ओन ड्रीम ये जो सीरियन डब्स जो भी गाना गा रही हैं मोहब्बत के बारे में आजादी के बारे में अमन के बारे में यही मेरा खाब भी है ये खाब मेरी आंखों से भी अया होता है देर इज अ रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ द सेम ड्रीम इन माई आईज टू i'm trying to design a country now she is telling us what is her dream wo ab hame batane ja rahi hai ki uska khwab kya hai i'm trying to design a country i'm trying to create a country that will go with my poetry that will find expression in my poetry i'm going to create a country what sort of country that will find expression in my poetry i am going to express through the medium of the poetry what sort of country i am going to create main kis kisam ka mulk chahti hu mera khwab jo hai wo kya hai kis kisam ka mulk hai wo main apni poetry ke through bataungi apni shayari ke through aapko bataungi and not get in the way when i am thinking where soldiers don't walk over my face वो कहती है कि मैं एक ऐसे मुल्क के बारे में खाब देख रही हूं वेयर आई हैव फ्रीडम ऑफ थॉट जहां मुझे सोच की आजादी है माय थॉट्स आर नॉट डिसरप्टेड माय थॉट्स आर नॉट डिस्टर्ब्ड व्हेन आई एम थिंकिंग अबाउट फ्रीडम जब मैं आजादी के बारे में सोच रही हूं तो मेरे मेरी जो सोचे हैं वो उनको कोई भी डिस्टर्ब नहीं कर सकता वेयर सोल्जर्स डोंट वॉक ओवर माई फेस where i dream about the country where the soldiers do not trample over my face it means that they do not suppress my voice they do not suppress my very existence jahan pe ye jo sipahi hai wo aake hamari awazon ko duba nahi dete hame suppress nahi kiya jata hame soch ki azadi hai hame baat karne ki azadi hai so she says that i am going to express my feelings through my poetry and she hopes that her voice will never be suppressed aur wo ek aise mulk ka khwab dekh rahi hai where there is freedom of thought 
where people live free lives and they are not trampled over by the soldiers by internal and external uh, reign or rule or suppression i am trying to design a country which will be worthy of me if i am ever a poet she says that i am going to create a country which will be worthy i am trying to design a country which will be worthy of me if i am ever a poet if i am a poet a poet is meant to express her or his feeling through the written expression and she says that i am dreaming about the country where there is respect which will respect me if i am a poet where i will earn respect as a poet jahan mujhe ek shair ki haisiyat se izzat di jaye now it means that freedom of expression where i am respected when i freely express my feelings about my country no one should criticize me for that no one uh, is going to suppress my voice and make allowances if i burst into tears she says that i want to be in the country which forgive me which allow me to shed tears if i am in grief if i shed tears for my countries for the misery or miserable condition of my country no one should punish me for that it means that i should have freedom of expression if i want to weep i can weep if i want to express something uh, through the medium of expression written expression everyone should allow me to do that then she says i am trying to design a city of love peace concord and virtue she says that i am trying to design my dream city where there is a rule of love peace harmony and virtue where there are good qualities among the people there is harmony among the people there is peace everywhere every part of my country is adorned is decorated with peace and love मैं एक ऐसा शहर डिजाइन करने जा रही हूं जिसका हर रास्ता जो है वो मोहब्बत से अम से हम आंगी से और अच्छी सिफात से भरा हुआ है फ्री ऑफ मेस वॉर रैकेज एंड मिजरी नाउ शी से इज दैट माई ड्रीम कंट्री इज फ्री ऑफ डिस्टर्बेंस इट इज फ्री ऑफ वॉर means there is complete peace in my in my dream country which is free of wreckage wreckage destruction which is free from all misery and people are living a very happy and peaceful life so here in this stanza the whole stanza is repeated with the word of repeat with the word of peace only peace love harmony virtue and this is the dream land of the poetess herself amina abu kehti hai ki yahi she actually focuses on her own homeland that is syria syria ko leke wo kehti hai ki main ek aise mulk ko design karne ja rahi hu yani wo syria mein am chahti hai peace love chahti hai virtue chahti hai harmony chahti hai Syria should be free of mess war wreckage and misery so so she dreams of a peaceful syrian land yahan pe dove jo hai she has used symbolism dove is the symbol of peace love freedom similarly she wants freedom of speech freedom of expression freedom of ideas in her dream land so she creates a dream country of her own in the first stanza of the poetry lament for syria i hope this is clear to you all
Now there is another stanza. O Syria, my love. Now in the very first line, a literary device which the poetess has used, that is apostrophe. Apostrophe is a literary device in which some non-existent or some absent object is or the thing or the person is addressed. यहाँ पे वो अपने मुल्क सीरिया को एड्रेस कर रही है वो उसको पुकार रही है तो दिस इज लिटरी डिवाइस पोइटिस ने यूज की है जिसको अपोस्ट्रफी कहते हैं ओ सीरिया माई लव नाउ शी हैज डिक्लेयर्ड सीरिया हर फर्स्ट एंड द लास्ट लव हर ओन होमलैंड इज हर होल वर्ल्ड हर लव unconditional love i hear your moaning she says that i hear your cries of pain i hear your cries of sorrow your painful cries she says that i can still i can still hear your moaning your painful cries in the cries of the doves she says that i have already left my homeland main apne mulk se hijrat karke ja chuki hu lekin ab bhi mujhe dove ki wo painful cries apne kaano mein sunai deti hain i hear your screaming cry your painful cries your mournful cries i left your land and merciful soil i have already migrated from that land and she has declared her soil as merciful one's own beloved country is definitely merciful to the people because people live freely in their own homeland log jab apne mulk mein rehte hain तो उस मुल्क की सरजमीन उनको बहुत मर्सीफुल रखती है रहम करने वाली लगती है क्योंकि उस मुल्क के अंदर उनको आजादी होती है सोच की आजादी होती है जिंदा रहने की आजादी है और बहुत सी अपॉर्चुनिटीज उनको मिलती हैं आगे बढ़ने के लिए फ्रीली दे कैन फ्रीली मूव फॉरवर्ड इसीलिए वो अपने मुल्क की सरजमीन को मर्सीफुल कह रही है she has used an adjective merciful for her own soil of syria but she has left that homeland and your fragrance of jasmine dear viewers i must tell you here that jasmine is the national flower of syria syria ka jo qaumi phool hai wo jasmine hai now this jasmine the fragrance of jasmine can still be smelled by the poetess poetess kehti hai main apne mulk se dur to aa chuki hu main migrate kar chuki hu lekin ab bhi mujhe apni sarzameen bahut yaad aati hai mujhe ab bhi doves ki painful cries sunai deti hain mujhe ab bhi jasmine jo phool hai uski khushboo sunai sun, khushboo bahut zyada mehsoos hoti hai iska matlab hai she means to say that she is very much attached with her own homeland agarche wo ja chuki hai wahan se ab bhi her soul is very much attached to her own homeland apni sarzameen ke sath uski rooh ka rishta ab bhi baaki hai kyunki ab bhi phoolon ki khushboo usko mehsoos hoti hai abhi bhi uski sarzameen use yaad aati hai wahan ke parindon ki humming unke songs ab bhi sunai dete hain my wing is broken like your wing now she sympathizes with the weeping dove yahan pe wo rone wali jo dove hai uske sath hamdardi ka izhar kar rahi hai wo kehti hai ki jis tarah se tumhare par kaat diye gaye hain you have become helpless ab tum bilkul beyaro madadgar ho ke reh gaye ho you cannot fly freely in the sky tum ab aasmano ki balandiyon pe nahi ud sakte you cannot sing happily as you are uh, you are born for जिस चीज के लिए तुम पैदा हुई कि खुशी से गाने के लिए और उड़ने के लिए पैदा हुई लेकिन वो सब ताकतें तुमसे छीन ली गई हैं सेम इज द केस विद मी मेरे पर भी तोड़ दिए गए हैं मींस 
I cannot move freely in my country. I cannot, cannot raise voice for my country. So she compares her own helplessness to that of the dove. That their wings have been nipped. Unke par kaat diye gaye hain. And they are no more able to fly freely and sing happily. Now going towards the next stanza. I am from Syria. Now here in this stanza she proudly express her sense of belonging. She is proud to say, to tell, to declare that I am from Syria. From a land where people pick up a discarded piece of bread. Now she tells a story about the land where people pick up a discarded piece of bread. اپنی اچھی صفات اپنی اچھی روایات کے لیے مشہور ہے جہاں پہ لوگ ایک دوسرے کو ویڈیو دیتے ہیں جہاں پہ لوگ ایک دوسرے کی رسپیکٹ کرتے ہیں she says that my own land which is where people have great values for relationships from for their ways and means they regard virtue and respect the most the necessary things in their lives now she tells she goes on to tell in the next lines how people give value to everything from a land or how people live virtuous lives in her own land kitni achhi achhi tarike se log jo hai wo zindagi guzar rahe hain from a land where people pick up a discarded piece of bread main us sarzameen se taluq rakhti hu jahan pe log zameen pe gira hua roti ka tukda utha lete hain so that it does not get trampled on taaki is pe kisi ka paon na aa jaye it means that people value bread and butter people value the allah's blessings they value their food even a piece of bread if it falls on the ground it is immediately picked up so that it may not get trampled on taaki is pe kisi ka paon na aa jaye from a place where a mother teaches her son not to step on an ant at the end of the day i belong to that place that land where mother teaches moral values to her son her children jahan pe mai apne bachcho ko ikhlaqi ikhlaqi tehzeeb aur tamaddun sikhati hai where she teaches her son not to even step on a step on an ant वहां तो वो तो ऐसा मुल्क है जहां पे किसी च्यूटी के ऊपर भी माए अपने बच्चों को सिखाती हैं कि किसी च्यूटी के ऊपर भी उनका पाओ ना आ जाए जहां पे आज वॉर जहां पे जंग मुसलत की गई है वहां के लोग तो इतने पीसफुल हैं कि वहां माए अपने बच्चों को ये तक सिखा देती हैं कि किसी च्यूटी पे भी उनका पाओ ना आ जाए कि च्यूटी मर ना जाए वहां पे आज लोगों ने वॉर मुसलत की हुई है जंग मुसलत की हुई है उन लोगों पे जो लोग बजाते खुद बहुत पुरमन है बहुत पीसफुल है दे आर वर्चुअस पीपल दे आर मॉरली गुड पीपल सो वेयर मदर टीचेस हर सन नॉट टू स्टेप ऑन एन एंड नॉट टू रूइन इवन द लाइफ ऑफ अ स्मॉल क्रीचर दैट इज एन एंड from a place where a teenager hides his cigarette from his old brother out of respect now she says that people have great respect for each other youngers for elders and elders for youngers they are highly respectful people even a young boy hides if he has uh, adopted the habit of smoking he does it in hiding he hides his cigarette from his older brother just out of respect because he respects his brother 
similarly from a place where old ladies water jasmine trees at dawn i belong to a place main ek aisi jagah se taluk rakhti hu jahan pe boodhi auratein subah subah uthti hain aur jasmine ke jo darakht hain unko pani deti hain now here i must tell you that again that jasmine is a national flower of syria so वहां पे लोग अपने नशे क्योंकि जैसमिन की खुशबू ही शी मीन्स टू से दैट द स्मेल ऑफ जैसमिन द ऑर्डर ऑफ जैसमिन स्प्रेड्स वेयर देर इज एवरी वेयर द ऑर्डर ऑफ जैसमिन बिकॉज द पीपल टेक केयर ऑफ दैट फ्लावर बिकॉज इट एमिट्स ए स्मेल एवरी वेयर फ्रॉम द नेबर्स कॉफी इन द मॉर्निंग दिस जैसमिन फ्लावर is added the petals of jasmine is added into the coffee uh, as a very as a necessary ingredient isko coffee mein bhi milaya jata hai uh, ye streamed milk mein to create a very rich and velvety flat white with notes of candied quince and uh, like jasmine it's it's a very delicate jasmine finishing जब कॉफी बन जाती है तो उसको एक बहुत खूबसूरत टच देने के लिए उसको फिनिशिंग उसके उसकी फिनिशिंग के लिए जैसमिन के फूल उसमें पेटल्स को डाला जाता है सो शी से इज दैट वेयर ओल्ड लेडीज वॉटर जैसमिन फ्लावर्स अर्ली इन द मॉर्निंग एंड द द स्मेल ऑफ जैसमिन कम्स फ्रॉम द कॉफी विच इज बींग मेड इन द नेबरहुड हर बंदे के जिस घर में भी वो कॉफी बन रही होती है तो उसकी खुशबू बहुत दूर दराज नेबरिंग जो हाउसेस हैं उन तक भी फैल जाती है यानी इसकी इतनी प्यारी खुशबू होती है कि जब कॉफी में भी डाली जाती है तो साथ के घरों में भी उसकी खुशबू आती है और समझ आ जाती है कि कहीं नेबरिंग में नेबरहुड में कहीं कॉफी बनाई जा रही है फ्रॉम आफ्टर यू आंट नाउ सी some of the good gestures and good expressions are being told us here in the country syria yani syria mein bade acche gestures jo hain wo bade acche kisam ke expressions diye jate hain people have very good gestures very kind gestures respectful expressions for each other for example she says after you aunt now she never walks before the elders the young ones never walk before the elders but always behind them yani bado se aage wo kabhi bhi nahi chalte so they are they uh, always say that after you aunt i will walk after you similarly as you wish so they submit their own wishes to the wishes of the elder people they always say with these words as you wish uncle they even have great respect for their uncles that they submit their own wishes to their uncles wishes with pleasure sister now whatever they do great favors to their sisters with pleasure so these are some of the good gestures kind gestures of the people of syria from a place which endured from a place i belong from syria from a place which has long tolerated the wars and internal and external aggressions main us mulk se taluk rakhti hu jisne bahut arse tak jo hai wo jangon ko bardasht kiya which waited jinhone intezar kiya they have waited since long which is still waiting for relief and they are still waiting for relief for peace ये उन लोगों की बात हो रही है कि जिन्होंने जंगों का सामना किया ये वो लोग हैं जो कि मॉरली बहुत ही वर्चुअस लोग हैं जिन्होंने अपने मुल्क के ट्रेडिशंस को अपने मुल्क के जो वैल्यूज हैं मॉरल वैल्यूज हैं कस्टम्स हैं वर्चूज हैं उनको हमेशा से कायम रखा जो कि एक च्यूंटी तक को मारने से माए जो है वो अपने बच्चों को सिखाती है कि कहीं च्यूंटी पे पाव ना आ जाए और च्यूंटी मर ना जाए तो ऐसे लोगों के पे बाहर से जंग मुसलत कर दी गई है जो खुद वर्चुअली जो खुद बहुत वर्चुअस लोग हैं जो बहुत मॉरली गुड हैं नाउ शी हैज यूज द वर्ड सीरिया शी अनाउंसेज हर कंट्रीज नेम सेपरेटली 
in order to emphasize her sense of belonging wo proudly she feels proud to call syria her own homeland now coming to the next stanza i will not write poetry for anyone else now she announces once and for all that my whole poetry is dedicated to my own country that is syria i will not write poetry for anyone else my poetry is always dedicated to my own country main kabhi kisi aur ke liye shayari nahi karungi main sirf shayari apne mulk ke liye karungi now she pledges upon everyone she pleads ab wo yahan pe bahut zyada iltija kar rahi hai can anyone teach me how to make a homeland first of all she writes that about her dream land now she wants her dream land to be practical wo practically wohi dream land chahti hai aur iske liye she requests everyone that if anyone could teach her how to make a homeland how to make, create her own dream land in reality heartfelt thanks if you can heartiest thanks she says that i will be highly grateful if anyone could teach me i will be heartily thankful to him if you could tell me the real meaning of freedom the free country if you could help me create a free country agar aap meri madad kare ki ek azad mulk banane mein to main i will be heartily thanks thankful to you again she says heartiest thanks from the house sparrows the apple trees of syria and yours very sincerely she says that all the house sparrows from the very birds of my country to the apple trees of syria i am sincerely theirs she says that i belong to every sparrow of my country i belong to every apple tree of my country syria i am sincerely yours my own country she says that i am purely for my own country my poetry my own life is dedicated to my own country meri meri shayari meri tamam zindagi sirf mere apne mulk syria ke liye hai here she ends a poem yahan pe wo apni poetry ko apni nazam ko khatam karti hai ye apni sense of belonging ke sath ke main ek ek uh, apne mulk ki ek ek chidiya se leke tamam jo apple trees hain un tak wo tamam cheezon se main belong karti hu everything in syria belongs to me and i am sincerely theirs that's why in the very first line she says i will not write poetry for anyone else because i am dedicated for my own country that is syria and then she says i am sincerely yours she addresses her own country syria by saying i am sincerely yours i hope this has uh, become clear to you the very meaning of the poetry and uh, the things are easy to you to understand and the adjectives which best identify uh, which best identify the poem and which best fit the poem you have seen that mournful the very words which a uh, few adjectives i must use here m o u r n f u l mournful then nostalgic she feels nostalgic here about her own country जैसमिन फ्लार अब भी उसको जैसमिन की खुशबू आती है सो शी शी इज बिकमिंग नोस्टैल्जिक इन दीज लाइन्स एज वेल वेरी जेंटल द टोन इज जेंटल एंड प्लीडिंग शी प्लीड्स देन कैन एनी वन टीच मी हाउ टू मेक अ होम लैंड सो वी कैन यूज एन एजेक्टिव प्लीडिंग फॉर दैट जेंटल नोस्टैल्जिक मॉनफुल पैसिमिस्टिक so this is a lament for syria poem 
for you to understand i hope uh, this is clear to you now do subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed before please this is my humble request to you all like and share my video among your fellow uh, uh, fellows among your class fellows among your relatives and uh, i hope you have liked my video thank you goodbye